Welcome back. Now that we've built our table, we're actually going to build the detail on the table. You can see the image in the right. I have places for all the cards to land. I have a dealer location and also a spot for the cards that the dealer deals out uh, for the flop turn in the river. Now, how do we get there? Well, just as before, we use a rounded corner rectangle. We're going to do the same thing. Go up to insert, go to shapes, grab that rounded rectangle. We're going to make approximate shape size we want right now. And you see I made that one just a little bit bigger. So what I'll do is I'll actually zoom. I'll use the control button in Excel and the wheel on my mouse and zoom this up. Just to kind of get an idea of proper size. Now we could cheat and we could actually look at the other, other one, but you'll be making this on your own. So what you want to do is you're going to get approximate size for your card. And then we want to go through and put a no fill, change the solid line to black, and now you have yourself this image. Now I have a width of 0.5. This one came with one, so we'll drop that down to 0.5. See, I'm a little bit taller. We'd actually go to size. We take a look. So right now, my current example shows a 0.53 height and a 0.39 width. Let's change this width to 0.39. And there we go. Now that we have one card made, what we actually want to do is make this pattern here. This is all grouped together. It's actually the inlet, our inlay that's on there. And the way we make that, so we actually want to build this out by pairs of time. So we want approximately position there. Make sure you leave a copy of the one you're going to use sitting off to the side. Just copy your, your shape, then copy it and paste. And what I suggest is before you land these on the board, it's going to be kind of tricky to get off there, is so that we pair them up. Now that we have a grouping, actually before we do that, let me ungroup. What we actually want to do is we want to align those first. Go to Format, Align, say Align to Top. Now that they're aligned, go ahead oops, group those. And what we're going to do is create a second group. We're going to spread those out to the other side of the table. And we'll keep a copy of these off to the side. Now that we have these two, we want to make sure those are aligned. Once they're aligned, go ahead and group them. I'm going to go ahead and go on mute. You watch me build the rest of this up. As you can see, I got these pretty close. They're not exactly where I want them on the board. Minor adjustments can be done to make these fit. But you get the premise of what we're doing here. My original is very, very close. And I did that very quickly. To make this last shape, it's the exact same thing again. We insert another rectangle with the rounded corners. This will be the spot the dealer sits. We'll go ahead and format the shape. Change its color to green. Let's make it a lighter one. Solid line will be dark green. And bring that in. We want to center that with the image. Go ahead and hit the align. 
line center. Now to finish off the table, we need to put a spot for the, the flop, turn, and river. So we'll go ahead and grab just a single card spot. We will duplicate it five times. Go ahead and grab each of those. Use your alignment tools. Align to top. Through horizontally. Let's go ahead and group it because it looks pretty good. We're going to drop that on the table. Looks kind of nice. Highlight both. Align them to center. And go ahead and group. Now you finish your table. Thank you very much for watching.